Biostatistics, Wikipedia article audio. Biostatistics is the application of statistics to a wide range of topics in biology. It encompasses the design of biological experiments, especially in medicine, pharmacy, agriculture, and fishery, the collection, summarization, and analysis of data from those experiments, and the interpretation of, and inference from, the results. A major branch is medical biostatistics, which is exclusively concerned with medicine and health. Biostatistical modeling forms an important part of numerous modern biological theories. In the early 1900s, after the rediscovery of Gregor Mendel S. Mendelian inheritance work, the gaps in understanding between genetics and evolutionary Darwinism led to vigorous debate between biometric eons, such as Walter Weldon and Carl Pearson, and Mendelians such as Charles Davenport, William Battison, and Wilhelm Johansson. By the 1930s, statisticians and models built on statistical reasoning had helped to resolve these differences and to produce the neo-Darwinian modern evolutionary synthesis. History Recent Developments the leading figures in the establishment of population genetics and this synthesis all relied on statistics and developed its use in biology. These and other biostatisticians, mathematical biologists, and statistically inclined geneticists helped bring together evolutionary biology and genetics into a consistent, coherent whole that could begin to be quantitatively modeled. In parallel to this overall development, the pioneering work of Darcy Thompson in On Growth and Form also helped to add quantitative discipline to biological study. Despite the fundamental importance and frequent necessity of statistical reasoning, there may nonetheless have been a tendency among biologists to distrust or deprecate results which are not qualitatively apparent. One anecdote describes Thomas Hunt Morgan banning the Friden calculator from his department at Caltech, saying well, I am like a guy who is prospecting for gold along the banks of the Sacramento River in 1849. With a little intelligence, I can reach down and pick up big nuggets of gold. And as long as I can do that. I'm not going to let any people in my department waste scarce resources in place or mining. Recent developments have made a large impact on biostatistics. Two important changes have been the ability to collect data on a high throughput scale, and the ability to perform much more complex analysis using computational techniques. Use in high throughput data New biomedical technologies like microarrays, next-generation sequencers and mass spectrometry generate enormous amounts of data, allowing many tests to be performed simultaneously. Careful analysis with biostatistical methods is required to separate the signal from the noise. For example, a microarray could be used to measure many thousands of genes simultaneously determining which of them have different expression in diseased cells compared to normal cells. However, only a fraction of genes will be differentially expressed. Multicollinearity often occurs in high-throughput biostatistical settings. Due to high intercorrelation between the predictors, the information of one predictor might be contained in another one. It could be that only 5% of the predictors are responsible for 90% of the variability of the response. In such a case, one could apply the biostatistical technique of dimension reduction. Classical statistical techniques like linear or logistic regression and linear discriminate analysis do not work well for high-dimensional data. As a matter of fact, one can get quite high R2 values despite very low predictive power of the statistical model. These classical statistical techniques were developed for low-dimensional data. 
In cases of high dimensionality, one should always consider an independent validation test set and the corresponding residual sum of squares in R2 of the validation test set, not those of the training set. Use of computationally intensive methods Often, it is useful to pool information from multiple predictors together. For example, Gene set enrichment analysis considers the perturbation of whole gene sets rather than of single genes. These gene sets might be known biochemical pathways or otherwise functionally related genes. The advantage of this approach is that it is more robust, it is more likely that a single gene is found to be falsely perturbed than it is that a whole pathway is falsely perturbed. Furthermore, one can integrate the accumulated knowledge about biochemical pathways using this approach. On the other hand, the advent of modern computer technology and relatively cheap computing resources have enabled computer-intensive biostatistical methods like bootstrapping and resampling methods. In recent times, Random forests have gained popularity as a method for performing statistical classification. Random forest techniques generate a panel of decision trees. Decision trees have the advantage that you can draw them and interpret them. Random forests have thus been used for clinical decision support systems. Applications Almost all educational programs in biostatistics are at postgraduate level. They are most often found in schools of public health, affiliated with schools of medicine, forestry, or agriculture, or as a focus of application in departments of statistics. Scope and Training Programs In the United States, where several universities have dedicated biostatistics departments, many other top-tier universities integrate biostatistics faculty into statistics or other departments, such as epidemiology. Thus, departments carrying the name biostatistics may exist under quite different structures. For instance, Relatively new biostatistics departments have been founded with a focus on bioinformatics and computational biology, whereas older departments, typically affiliated with schools of public health, will have more traditional lines of research involving epidemiological studies and clinical trials as well as bioinformatics. In larger universities where both a statistics and a biostatistics department exist, the degree of integration between the two departments may range from the bare minimum to very close collaboration. In general, the difference between a statistics program and a biostatistics program is twofold. Statistics departments will often host theoretical-slash-methodological research which are less common in biostatistics programs and statistics departments have lines of research that may include biomedical applications but also other areas such as industry, business, and economics and biological areas other than medicine. Ronald Fisher developed several basic statistical methods in support of his work studying the field experiments at Roth Amstead Research, including in his 1930 book The Genetical Theory of Natural Selection, Sewell G. Wright developed F statistics and methods of computing them, J. B. S. Haldane S. book, The Causes of Evolution, re-established natural selection as the premier mechanism of evolution by explaining it in terms of the mathematical consequences of Mendelian genetics.